Okay, we are back in the Maker Lab at Micro Center, and today we are talking Bamboo Lab printers. This is our 2024 roundup specifically for bamboo. We'd like to introduce you to the range that we have available for you at your local Micro Center. One of my absolute favorites is the A1 Mini. I own one of these at home for the size and especially for the price at Micro Center right now. I think it's $199. Um, and sometimes you can even find refurb ones for around 170. If you're just getting into 3D printing or you wanna build a mini farm, this might be something to look at. The A1 family is known for its entry level ability to be in the bamboo ecosystem. On these machines, you're getting connectivity, the Wi-Fi connectivity you expected on the X1C and the P1S and the P1P even back in the day and you're getting a little color touchscreen. One of the other things that is really cool about the A1 series is that at this price point, you can also buy a combo for a little bit more and get an AMS light. That's what you see over here. Right now, this A1 is printing a Micro Center logo, like a little sign, and it's gonna use both the black filament and the white filament when it gets to a certain layer. So when getting into 3D printing, a lot of people might look at the A1 Mini and say, hey, for its size, can I print much with it? And I have often been a proponent of smaller printers and would argue that with an A1 Mini, you're gonna be able to print 70 to 80% of the stuff you would wanna print anyways uh, as you're just getting started. And now me as somebody that's been printing for over a decade, the value in the A1 Mini is that most of the little things that I print repetitively fit easily on its bed. Now, if there's something that I need to print bigger, I'll visit another machine such as the X1C. But I really do like this little guy for its size, uh, for its feature set. They both have cameras built in so they can monitor and do time lapses, although they're not quite as good as the time lapses on the X1C or the P1S. But nonetheless, being able to control it remotely through the Bamboo Handy app uh, is pretty cool. So. If you are looking for your next printer in 2024, as we go into 2025, uh, I highly, highly, highly suggest you take a look at the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. All right, so the A1 Mini has a bigger brother, which came out around this time last year, closer to Christmas. This is it over here, and it's a great, great, great machine. If people ask me right now, what machine should I get? I typically steer them towards either the A1 Mini or the A1, depending on their use case. I like these in that if I really wanted to, I could potentially start a small printing farm for not a ton of money. I remember back in the day buying my first printer, the PrinterBot Simple Metal. For the price that I paid for that printer, you could buy roughly three of these now. So think about if you wanted to start a small print farm, or if you just wanted to have multiple machines pump out more parts quicker. These are great options. You can see over on the A1 itself, we have it hooked up to the AMS light. Unlike the AMS that comes with the X1C and the P1S, the AMS light is not fully enclosed, and that's okay. Honestly, for this price point and for ease of use, uh, switching out these filament spools is pretty easy with the AMS light, not bad with the AMS at all. Um, but they pair together well. There's even 3D printed adapters you can print to mount the AMS light on this top rail of the printer or potentially even on a wall behind it. All right, so to round out the Bamboo family, we have the Bamboo Lab P1S and the X1C. The X1C was introduced back sometime mid-2022. So this is going on two years now that the X1C has been out. The P1S is a little bit younger, being introduced in 2023. But the point I wanna make with them not having necessarily refreshed these is that I believe they built their printers kind of over spec so that the firmware and the software and the models could grow with the printer as it continued to live a uh, very productive life. So I've had my Bamboo Lab for maybe a year and a half now. I've really enjoyed it. I've had the X1C and I do have an A1 Mini. Um, and I've had to do relatively minimal maintenance. I think I've swapped the nozzle once. Um, I haven't done anything with the AMS. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. I mean, nozzles are a consumable. These printers 
Uh, if you wanted to do TPU, you would not use the AMS module because TPU requires a direct drive. So you wanna feed them in using the external spool. But other than that, printing through the AMS is great. What you need to know about the AMS and the AMS light is that anytime you have color changes, you will add some time and waste material to your print. That might be a drawback for some. However, I think ultimately it's a really awesome feature. I think my favorite use case for having an AMS capable printer, and especially one with a color screen, is that you can change in between prints which color you wanna use. So if you wanna print 10 of widget A in black and 10 of widget A in red, uh, it's really easy. It's not difficult to do that at all. You don't have to swap things in and out and you can change it from the screen, not the computer. Now, on this P1S here, you might notice that there is a smaller screen and a larger screen above. We have outfitted this with the Panda Touch from Big Tree Tech. Uh, and that's a controller that lets you connect a couple of Bamboo Lab printers to a single little battery operated touchscreen uh, and start and stop and remotely control them. It's very cool. It doesn't come stock on it, but we do carry it at Micro Center. So stop in and check that out. All right, so let's talk price differential. Knowing that the main things you're missing from the X1C on the P1S are a color touchscreen. You're missing, I believe, hardened steel gears, driver gears. You are missing the LiDAR function. So basically there's a small camera on here. Once it prints out a couple of test lines, the camera, LiDAR camera will come back and measure and make sure it's extruding as expected. Never really had an issue without having that, uh, but it is a nice feature on that. Uh, so those are the kind of things uh, that you get when you upgrade to the X1C. Now the price, uh, you can get the P1S without the AMS all by itself, um, anywhere between $549 and $699, depending on the day. But keep close watch on Micro Center's website or stop into your local Micro Center to see any deals we may have. Now, if you want this with the AMS, you're looking at anywhere between $749.99 and $999.99. To be able to get uh, an automatic material system and an enclosed 3D printer for under $1,000, uh, even today is still very, very good. This typically comes in around $1449. Uh, right now, uh, through Black Friday, I believe it's around $1199.99. So for only a few hundred dollars more, this is a great option as well. For anybody that's thinking about getting seriously into 3D printing or has uh, a higher budget, uh, the reliability has been great. The feature set is great. All of the self-tests that it has, including self-leveling, and extrusion compensation make both of these printers amazing, reliable printers. I think if you were gonna build a high-end farm, these could be an option as well. All right, so that rounds out the Bamboo Lab family of printers for 2024. We expect to see more great stuff coming from Bamboo as the days go on. Make sure to check out makerworld.com which is their site for downloadable 3D printable files. We hope that you visit a local micro center and you talk to one of our 3D printer champions. They'll get you all hooked up with the right printer for your needs and some filament and tools as well. We hope you've enjoyed this look at Bamboo Lab printers and we will see you next time in the Maker Lab at Micro Center.